Okay, let's take a look at basic integration using the power rule, but this time let's apply it to radical expressions. Now, the rule will still be the same. Uh, you increase the power by 1 and divide by the new exponent. But before we look at some examples, let's take a quick look at just how to change radicals from uh, expressions from radical form into fractional form. Okay, now the rule reads like this. If you have the b root of x to the a power, what you do is take the number out here, b, so take the b root and move it to the denominator here. So this will turn into x to the a over b power. Now, as a specific example, let's take a look at this. The seventh root of x cubed. What you'll do is take the 7 and move it to the denominator here. So this will become x to the 3 sevenths power. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and work a couple of examples using uh, integration. Okay, starting with this one, first thing to do is change it from radical form into fractional form. Now, the square root of something is like having x to the 1 half power dx. So using the rule, you're going to increase the power by 1 and divide by the new exponent. Now, just a little hint here, when you raise this thing, rather than adding a plus 1, add a plus 2 halves, because that's the same thing as 1. But now you have the same denominator. So when you do this, 1 half plus 2 halves would give you x to the 3 halves power divided by 3 halves plus c. And then the last step, take the denominator, change it from division to multiplication, so invert to the denominator and multiply. So that's going to give you 2 thirds of x to the 3 halves power plus c, and you will be done. Okay, suppose you had a cube root. Well, the cube root of x is equal to x to the 1 third power. Now again, when you increase the power by 1, rather than adding 1, this time I'm going to add 3 thirds. So if this had been fourths, you'd add 4 fourths. Um, so 1 third plus 3 thirds is going to give me x to the 4 thirds divided by 4 thirds plus c. And then the last step, take the denominator, invert it, change the multiplication, that'll become 3 fourths of x to the 4 thirds power plus c, and there's that one. Now finally, let's try this. The fourth root of x cubed. Well, first of all, change it into fractional form. So take this denominator here, or this root, and move it to the denominator here, which is going to give you x to the 3 fourths power. Now, increase the power by 1, so rather than adding 1, I'm going to add 4 fourths. Well, 3 fourths plus 4 fourths is going to give me uh, 7 fourths, so that's going to give me x to the 7 fourths divided by 7 fourths plus c. Now, take the the denominator, change it to multiplication, and the final answer would be 4 sevenths times x to the 7 fourths plus c, and you are done. So there's that answer right there. So again, whatever the root is, move it to the denominator and make it be 3 fourths. Okay, now what those were, that's uh, radicals where the radical is in the top. Let's take a look at some where the radical is in the denominator. Okay, uh, on this one, um, the first thing to do, I'll change it into fractional form. So this is going to become the integral of 1 over x, and the square root of x is x to the 1 half power, dx. Then, uh, take the x to the positive 1 half in the denominator, move it to the numerator, and make it be 
x to the negative one-half power dx. So what this is, this is again what I'm going to call the rewrite phase. So you're rewriting it so that you can apply the rule. Now apply the rule. Uh, you'll go ahead and add one, so I'm going to add two halves, which is one. And what that gives me, negative one plus two would give me x to the one-half power divided by one-half plus c. And then take the denominator, turn it upside down, that'll give me 2 times x to the 1 half power plus c. So this is a valid answer. Or if you want to, you can go ahead and make that be 2 times x to the 1 half would be the square root of x plus c. And this would also be a correct answer. So either way you want to go on that. But anyway, change it from radical form into fractional form then get it from the denominator into the numerator, then apply the rule. <clears throat> so with that in mind, let's try this one right here. This is going to become the integral of 5 over, and I'll change this to x to the 3 fourths power dx. Now since it's x to the 3 fourths in the denominator, I'll move it to the numerator and make it be 5. Now it'll become x to the negative 3 fourths power dx. Okay, so on this one, um, now I'm going to go ahead and add 1. So when I add 1, instead of adding 1, I'm going to add 4 fourths. So, okay, that's going to give you 5 times x. Now, minus 3 plus 4 would be 1 fourth divided by one-fourth plus c. So take the denominator, turn it upside down, it'll become four. Four times five would be twenty times x to the one-fourth plus c, and there is an answer. Or again, if you'd like to, you could change that to twenty times the fourth root of x plus c. And this would also be a valid answer. Okay, let's take a look at two more examples. Okay, now again, you have to change them in the correct form before you apply the rule. So I've got a square root of x, so I'll change this to rewrite it as x to the one half power times x plus dx. Now the next thing I'm going to do is distribute. I'll multiply this times this and this times this. Now this is x to the one half. Think of this as being x to the one. Now remember you add the exponents. So one half plus one would give me the antiderivative of x to the three halves plus four times x to the one half. So just remember in this step up here, what you're doing, it looks like this. If you have x squared times x cubed, remember you add the exponents and get x to the fifth. So just a reminder on adding exponents. So 1 half plus 2 halves is going to give you 3 halves dx. Well now find the antiderivative of that. The first one would be, and what I'll do in this case, I'm going to add 2 halves to this one. So 3 plus 2, that'll be x to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves plus 4 times, again, I'll add 2 halves to this one, 2 plus 1, this will be x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, then the whole thing plus c. Now the last step is just to take the denominators, turn them upside down, change them into multiplication. So this will become 2 fifths of x to the 5 halves plus, and when you turn this upside down, you'd have 4 times 2 thirds, which would be 8 thirds, x to the 3 halves plus 
C. And that's what the answer would look like right there. So remember, change it from radical form into exponential form, uh, distribute, then apply the rule. Now this one will do exactly the same thing. A couple, couple ways you can go about this. First of all, first step, make this be x squared plus 1 over x to the 1 half power dx. So change it from radical form into fractional form. Next step, what I'll do, a couple ways you can solve this. I'm going to take it by taking this x to the positive 1 half, moving it up to the numerator, and making it be x to the negative 1 half. So I'll have x squared plus 1 times x to the negative 1 half power. Now the next step will be to distribute this thing. So I'll multiply this times this and this times this. And what that will give me would be this. It'll be the integral of, now when you do this, what you've got here is 4 halves minus 1 half would be x to the 3 halves plus, and then 1 times this would be x to the negative 1 half dx. Now, find the antiderivative of this. Well, again, to this one I'm going to add 2 halves. So 3 plus 2 would be x to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves plus, now this one I'll also add 2 halves, which is 1. So minus 1 plus 2 would be x to the 1 half divided by 1 half half, and then don't forget to attach a plus C on the end. So for the final answer, take each of the denominators, turn them upside down, change them into multiplication. So that's going to become 2 fifths of x to the 5 halves plus, turn the 1 half upside down, it'll turn into a 2, x to the 1 half plus C. And you are finished. So it looks like that one right there. So remember, change the radical, change it from radical form into fractional form, and then distribute, and then apply your rule. So you have to, in both these cases, this is what's, this step right in here is what's called the rewrite phase. So you are rewriting it before you apply the rule. So I'll kind of underline it. So rewrite it, then apply the rule, and you got it. And that's it.